Faith family, welcome to the Daily Connection. I'm David Turner, Connect Group Leader here at First Baptist Church of Van Cleve, and we are delighted you've joined with us today as we look at Job 26 through 29. We're reading through the whole Bible this year. One year chronological Bible, we are reading passages every day that will take us chronologically through God's Word. That's a lot. But as disciples of Jesus Christ, we need to know God's Word. This should be the first year of the rest of our lives that we read through God's Word to make it part of our lives a daily part of our lives that we may come become more like Jesus. And here we are in Job about to we're getting close to the end of Job. Job who has suffered so very much. He has suffered, he has lost everything, he is sick. It's just horrible what has happened to him. And yet as we continue to read, he questions why it's happened. But at the same time, it's like his wife told him, he said, go ahead and she said, go ahead and curse God and die. And Job would not do that. Instead, he remains faithful to God. He questions, why has this happened to me? But he remains faithful. We see that again in one of the chapters we read today, Job chapter 27, starting with verse 1. Read along with me. Then Job con continued his discourse and said, As God lives, who has taken away my right, and the Almighty, who has embittered my soul, for as long as life is in me and the breath of God is in my nostrils, my lips certainly will not speak unjustly, nor will my tongue mutter deceit. Far be it that I might con declare you right. Till I die, I will not put away my integrity from me. I hold fast my righteousness and will not let it go. My heart does not reproach any of my days. Job's friends tried to help him identify what in his life had brought on this terrible sequence of events that had taken everything. Everything he owned, his family, his health. And yet Job was faithful to saying, it's not because of what I did that this happened. But I will not turn against God. And we see that in what we've read up until now. He remains faithful to his Redeemer. That's his word. He knows he has a Redeemer and he will remain faithful to that Redeemer. Job was faithful throughout. His friends tried to help him, tried to convince him, well, you've sinned somewhere. You've done something wrong. You brought this on yourself and you're just not willing to admit it to us. And that wasn't Job's. Job said no. No. And when we go back to the first chapter of Job, we see it wasn't anything Job did. God said, Satan, look at my servant Job. What an outstanding, faithful man he is. And Satan said, well, no wonder after what you've given him, everything you've given him, anybody would be faithful. And then God allowed Satan to take everything. Job questioned what had happened, why had it happened. He knew it wasn't based on his sin that he was being punished for. But at the same time, he questioned God. But he remained faithful to his Redeemer. Verse today that comes about as a result of this scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19 and 20. What? Know you not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you? Which you have of God. You're not your own. For ye are bought with a price. 
Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Job believed that. Job believed that he was in God. He trusted God. He didn't understand it. He questioned what had happened. But still, he remained faithful. Our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in us, which we have of God, for we are not our own. We are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God. Share the good news of Jesus Christ. Live sent.